Good morning, folks. In España y Portugal, the residents have begun complaining about the non-natural clouds above their heads. Still calling them contrails, but not a bad article here. Our short, minor quake watch saw no devastating quakes, but a number of ramping indicators. We already had Etna releasing lava and a very odd tremor in Greenland yesterday. Anything above 4 on the U.S. West Coast is above average, same with this near 6-pointer in Mexico. A swarm of shaking developed on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge with some activity north as well. In China, a very shallow tremor has injured 8 people, destroyed 72 homes, and damaged nearly a thousand others. Definitely not your everyday quake in China. But that was not the top story of Earth movement. You are looking at Page, Arizona very far north in the state. In fact, these lakes up here are mostly in Utah. When I heard Route 89 buckled and it could be geological, I was suspicious. I'm well aware of what heat can do to roads. Then I remembered the southwest was in a winter watch zone. In fact, it was snowing in Arizona, New Mexico, and Mexico a few hours later. So I decided to check it out, and yeah, that ain't weather. This fissure shows a five-foot delta in ground position across a wide area and is officially being classified as a landslide. Excellent paper here for all you Electric Universe folks. Scientists from China, Japan, and Cornell conclude that our gravitational model does not account for the stellar distribution here. Thunderbolt's project for the win. I have linked the actual paper as well, but you'd have to pay to get the full text. Checking top weather stories. Haruna set to deliver southern Madagascar its best shot, if it not be doing so already. Ton of rain in northern Australia, where a thunderstorm threat lingers as well. Europe, today begins five straight days of heating up. Lucky you. Snow has begun to blanket the U.S. breadbasket as yet another of these ultra-long north-south extended lows crosses the states. These converge air of highly different temperature, moisture, and electric potential. Got major blizzard warnings in effect over enormous areas. You can see it here, also still snowing south of the border. You can see thin lines on the southern edge going down. Who in this community doesn't recognize those as tornado makers? Watch begins at sunset. I didn't explain this well yesterday, so I'll try again. The coronal cavities that look like curved space in the solar atmosphere are functions of plasma being pushed up like fountains by magnetic force, and that force and the charge of the plasma itself further pushes charged coronal particles out along highly defined lines of curved electromagnetic force. By simply bouncing between 171 and 304 angstroms, you can see how this process works. So to come back to the sun-sucking orb. Not only was this the same type of event, only more pronounced, but look how many filaments lined up to do this. This was a cosmic coincidence of epic proportions as all these lined up perfectly, creating that hollow curvature in the corona. On this one, game over. We've been staring at a large coronal hole on the southern hemisphere, wondered if it could be geo-effective, and I now believe it is. Around 9 o'clock UTC yesterday, a fast stream of solar wind struck our magnetic shield. Just before 2100, it went into flux and began peaking around the New Day UTC. You can see on this morning solar wind that the peak is still kind of in play. Here is the magnetic disturbance, beginning also around 9 o'clock UTC yesterday. Flux near 2100, send this charts moving as well. The induction frequencies match the solar wind perfectly. You'll remember, we expected a minor CME impact later tonight or tomorrow morning. Well, that same area that popped the filament a few days ago got another one developed, and she popped it again. Could deliver another glancing blow to Earth. Umbral field and coronal structures. You'll see development on the north side turning in. We'll have to keep an eye on this. Big sunspot. No big flares. C8 was all it could manage, but it's headed out of town. Southern sunspots ate some bad sushi and began dropping like flies overnight. This minor quake watch does continue for another 24 hours, but let's hope Etna Page and the moderate upticks is all we get. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.